I am Sylvia Gordon. And I'm Rebecca Gordon. We're going to talk about all the great things that United Healthcare is doing right now in the market. And it's going to be a fun episode. Super fun. Prior to some of our depressing ones we've done lately. So stay tuned. Oh. Okay, can you do a close up of my shirt? Because I'm wearing my United Healthcare shirt. I do not know why it's not royal blue. Why is it supposed to be royal blue? That's, That's the, the colors. colors. That's the colors. I'm just saying. Just Isn't saying. black always kind of a universal just saying. color? Just saying. For everything. Okay. Marketing. But United Healthcare, as the nation's largest health insurer, is a leader in the industry and doing some interesting things right now. One, <clears throat> I will read it. They are waiving cost shares for MedAdvantage members until September 30th. Um, and they could extend that. So, okay. Right, so, right, right. now. So they are waiving the copays for your primary care physician and specialists, as well as telehealth visits. And these are the following services that are going to be eligible. Primary care, specialist, physician assistant, nurse practitioner, office visits, Medicare covered chiropractic and acupuncture, podiatry, routine eye, hearing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and this is a big one, cardiac and pulmonary rehab services. Hold and, and there's some more stuff. Chiropractic? Medicare physical therapy? Yeah. Dang. So that is, I mean, that's what you expect out right. of the industry leader is like really get out there. What they're finding is that people are afraid to go to the doctor at all. Yeah. Well, which I would the same so. thing. Yeah. I'm that afraid to go into the pharmacy or into the doctor's office that there's going to be germs and they're going to get, so people aren't taking care of anything, which then is going to exacerbate right. the eventual yep. problem. So this is like, hey, right. we're going to take down any... Right financial barrier to entry, get no. out there, take care of your health. We're all in this together. So wear your mask. I don't have my hat on. I'll take my glasses off to United Healthcare I will because take that is a fantastic, fantastic innovation. Now, what what are they doing on the agent side? So we had a recontracting. Uh, new links were sent to everybody. And we are diligent about making sure that uh, all of you have done your new contracting links because if you don't, what happens? You're going to be terminated. You lose all your renewals, everything. Well, bad I mean, thing. I mean, people are going to do it. The, the problem is we have people calling us well, because they think this is something their upline did. Or we're or sending another it. F I had a guy call me yeah. super mad saying that I'm trying to steal his agents. Because, like, they do well care with us. They don't do United mm. Health Care with us. And so the email went out, said, make sure and you do your... And so he's like, why are you trying to steal my... I'm like, we're not trying to steal anybody. It's like huh. being on this video. We're not trying to steal any... We're just trying to put information out there and help the whole industry. Okay? You, the, the thing to remember, if you've not done this link, we don't have access to it. We can't help you. You've got to call United Healthcare directly. And what we found out, some people... The email that they had built into Jarvis way back when, that email has since changed, and they're not. that's why they're not getting it. So, A, if you've not gotten your recontracting link, check your junk mail. Go back and check Jarvis. Make sure one number, one letter wasn't uh, mistakenly omitted. And then we have to call United Healthcare directly to get a new link. We can't. We can't. You, you have do. to. You have to call the... the Producer help desk, you have to, we can't do it for you. Your upline can't do it for you. So we did an audit and then we had like 400 emails that were dip. What we have, what you gave us is different than what you had originally given United Healthcare. And you know, a lot of us have a whole bunch of different emails. A lot of emails. We don't check them yeah. all anymore. So if you haven't gotten your recontracting link, that's your problem. They have the wrong email. On file. And, and go you check have to call the producer help desk. Go call them. You can't go into Jarvis and change it. you got to call and, the producer help desk. And you know what's good? Check all of your carriers. Go in and, and check all your profiles. If you change that email, if you signed up... Under Yahoo. With a different Hotmail. carrier, you know, five, six, seven years ago, go and just, just make that like a house cleaning real fast. Take 20 minutes and just make sure that your most accurate... Uh, email that you are using, all the carriers have it correctly built into your profile. So you have to do your link. It's no big deal. In general, nothing's changing. It's just that they're just cleaning up. But because of this huge undertaking of recontracting everybody, giving everybody a new base contract nationally, they are not processing new contracts right now. Yes. So if we do have people that are waiting to get contracted, 
And that's been extended a couple times now mm-hmm. because COVID and everything, you know, people are working from home. It's, everything's a little bit crazy. So there's a slight delay in getting new people contracted or hierarchy changes or the anything num- to do with contracting is kind of on a hold right now. Just and that's not us as your NMA or whoever you're, right. that's the whole nation right now. So it's okay. Where it's you know it's a big undertaking and it's you got to do your contracting link because we do have people that that think it's a sleight of hand, that think somebody's pulling something on them, yeah. It's, and it's like nothing nothing you, whoever you're under whatever level you are whatever you're it's all going to stay the same, so you must do it and if you have questions reach out to us or reach out to your upline to get verification that it's legit so you can get it done and get it done as soon as possible as soon as possible. Boom, boom. What else you got? So, so, Humana, we just got this information yesterday. Uh, looks like they are announcing their certification and recertification. will open up June 30th, 2020. And their good news is this. You got six attempts this year. Not three. You had six last year. Uh, you had six last year. But it's still good news. I'll still take it. Five dollars? I do not bet for real money. But I twenty dollars. I, I do not. I, if I don't bet for five dollars, okay, why am I going to bet for twenty dollars? What do you bet for? I bet to bet. A firm. Give me one of your firms. It was six cents last one year. One of my ferns. My ferns are. Oh, you know what? Dying. Thank God she didn't take my bet. It was United that had six cents yes. last year. Yes. In Indiana. Oh, I was right. Lost money, you were right. That's all I need is to you be were right. right. That's were all right. I need. You were right. Humana was very strict last year. Let me see what socks I'm wearing here. I don't want your socks. I just am a winner. Ah, you're wearing your Humana socks. You know, I'm just a winner. That's what winners, we, I'm just, I would like to thank Humana for these socks because I love these socks. Did I get those too? Yeah. Oh, at our eight. I love these yeah. socks. They are, they're, they're not the most attractive socks. I would like to get some from our other carriers. I wear these socks all the time. I have Medico socks, too. She's a sock wearer. Me, not so much. But I am, in case me, you haven't noticed, she's the glamorous one. Let, <laughs> I'm let, barely making it through the day. Let me go here, back. But I put on lipstick for you guys for this Humana. video. Humana. So Humana, that is good news. And the five has no relation. <laughs> this is five. This one I'm going to talk about in a second. Six attempts was, this is huge news because this, this hurt so news. many people last year. Holla. Because it was, was it like two or three last it year? It was three, and then you lost your renewals, and you were dead, yeah, and it, it was, was terrible. Horrible. It was really horrible. Yeah. I'm older, so, you know, let's go fast. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so, really good news. Now I have more good news. Yeah, United was six, and that was fantastic. And that's what I said. The, the, the market kind of follows each other. People with good ideas, then their agents say, hey, hey, and they kind of follow yeah. each other. So yeah. thank God. They changed that. That was too egregious. It was unfair. It was unnecessary. It was. So here's another thing. We'll see if she argues with me on this one. That she wouldn't take the bet. I was going to bet $200. I, don't bet money. I was going to put big money on that. I don't bet money. That, that, that is uh, a... Yeah. Could have won. I am surrounded by gamblers in my family, which is the truth. There will no longer be the Humana-specific final test at the conclusion of Humana's agent guidance for certification or recertification content. So when he finished everything, then they had like another big test. It's gone. So well, that nice. is awesome. That's that nice. is. I mean, okay, my so God, talk about test fatigue. I will close. I will wrap up this issue of the Wednesday wrap up with this positive <laughs> note that um, Nehu, our industry group, has suggested strongly to CMS that they. Take agents, now the five comes in, agents that have been selling Medicare Advantage for five consecutive years or more be able to take an abbreviated certification. So we don't know if that will be heard by CMS, but we have strongly proposed it and are very hopeful because it makes sense. Like we don't need to spend hours and hours and hours. We've been doing this for 15 years. So... Those of you that have been doing it for five years or more, let's let's put some good vibes out there. Maybe in the ACA that this, that this gets approved, they could also do that, so I wouldn't have to take certifications anymore for about hours and hours. But and I hours. So that's why the five is there. The passing AHIP is can now, agents do anything now? Most carriers is six attempts. Some have unlimited attempts. But I do want to put the plug in again: is that Nehu is coming out with their own alternative test to AHIP, which is 
It's not completely. That's not. That's not ready to be launched yet. But it's, it's close. close. Okay. And if it is, we want you to take it and not a hip. So when we're talking about a hip, we're talking about annual certification, which hopefully is going to mean Nehu and not a hip. Can we do anything to help push this bum. five along? Call anybody? No, it's already been submitted, okay. and now we just wait. So that's all I have for this episode. Have a great week. Talk to you guys. Just next remember, week. I was right. See ya.